Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today I am doing a very fashion and style related video. I'm going to be taking you through some new pieces that I got in my wardrobe for spring, styling a bunch of different outfits, and also I want to work on clearing out my current wardrobe, kind of organizing, putting my winter stuff in storage, so I thought we could do that together today. Also, if my voice sounds a little weird or different than normal, I am just getting over being sick. Today is my first day that I'm able to act Actually go outside and do things again so that's feeling really good it's got me in a good mood this video is actually in partnership with Farfetch one of my all-time favorite companies to work with I know a lot of you guys are already familiar with Farfetch but in case you're not I'll give you a little introduction and also tell you more about why I love shopping on Farfetch so much Farfetch exists for the love of fashion connecting customers from around the globe to over 3,000 of the world's best brands boutiques and department stores with items ranging from heritage labels to emerging designers. They deliver a truly unique shopping experience and access to the most extensive selection of luxury on a single platform. So all of the new pieces that I'm about to share with you guys I found on Farfetch and I'm so excited to let you know that I have a 10% off discount code for you guys. I will have it on the screen here and I will have all of the details in the description box below. So if you're looking to do some spring summer shopping, make sure to use that code to get the best price. So the first piece I have to share with you guys is a new pair of glasses. I don't always wear my glasses in my videos videos but anytime I'm not filming or taking photos I probably am wearing my glasses and just in recent years I've realized that I really need to be wearing glasses all the time to be able to see. There's also so many cool frame options out there that wearing glasses can be such a great part of your outfit. So I picked up a new pair of frames from Balenciaga. The main reason I don't always wear them in my videos is because depending on my face angle, there's a glare. These are so cool. They're black wire frame. It's a bit cat eye and oversized, but those I'm definitely going to be wearing almost every day. So those aren't your vibe. Farfetch also has so many other cool glasses to choose from. And next I have a pair of shoes from Caperni. I've never actually owned anything from Caperni. It's become such a hot brand with their bags and shoes. So these are the bridge ankle boot. They also had a knee-high version of these. I had such a hard time deciding which pair I wanted to get, but I have so many knee-high boots that I just had to stop myself. They're not the best for storing in a New York City apartment, but those are really cool too. I really fell in love with the craftsmanship and shape of these. It's basically one piece of leather that comes over the heel, which you don't see very often. Also a slim square toe, which I think is really flattering, and it actually has quite a wide opening at the ankle, so it can be really slimming to your leg. It's also perfect for wearing with bottoms that are a bit bulkier. I got a size 39 in these. Lately, I've been running a 39 and a half in most brands' shoes. I would say I'm probably a true 39 and a half, but the 39 in these fit really well and they're super comfy. I've been wearing them for running errands and just doing different stuff around the city and no blisters. And then I have some clothing pieces to share with you guys. I'm realizing that these are all just really elevated, nice basics that I think will be pretty timeless, even if they're kind of following a trend they're still very in line with my style which is always really important to me the first piece is this ruched helmet laying top it's so beautiful it's the same v-neck cut in the front and back you can wear it a bit off the shoulders if you're into that and i find this ruching to be very slimming but also super flattering on your curves i have a bigger chest i'm probably a true medium sometimes a small depending on the top i got the size medium large in this and it fits perfectly this piece you're gonna have to see on because it's a bit difficult to show a whole up but it is this Dion Lee cutout mini skirt again like an elevated basic a bit different and cooler than a typical black mini skirt but if you're wearing a longer top you can't see the cutout details at all cutouts are obviously having such a moment right now I think they're really fun for summer and for different going outlooks this one definitely has like lingerie vibes I wore it out the other day with just a cashmere sweater and some knee-high combat boots and it was really cool and this I got a size medium and it's pretty stretchy so I think I could have even gone with a small but you also don't want these pieces cutting into you. I would size up if you're in between sizes. And then I have a pair of jeans. I have to admit that I'm not really a denim girl. I find that a lot of cuts of denim just don't look that flattering on me. I prefer to wear a trouser 
or canvas pants, but these jeans are amazing. I actually ordered a different pair of jeans to have for this video and I had a bit of a breakdown because my size that I ordered was way too small on me. But I think the jeans from that brand just ran really small. When I got these, I felt a lot better because this is the size that I normally buy. That's such a thing though, especially with denim. I think we all need a reminder sometimes just to be a little bit nicer to ourselves. So these are by the brand of Gold. This is their Lana jean in the gray wash. I'm obsessed. It's a straight leg fit mid-rise i feel like i could actually have a bigger size and they look nice and loose but i like the straight leg fit a lot and i'm gonna have to buy these in some other washes and then lastly this is the most like trendy piece i think in this video i've been wanting something from the brand autolinger for quite a while now they make the coolest pieces but they're definitely a bit out there most of the time this is definitely a more toned down piece but it's still really cool. So it's these extra long like ribbed leggings with little ruffly kind of octopus looking bottoms. It has a cutout at the waist and also ties. Another piece that you definitely have to see on. I also wore this out for my birthday and I loved this look so much. I got a size medium in these. If you're in between sizes, I would definitely size up because they fit a bit tight. So those are all the pieces that I have to share. We're gonna get into the styling portion in a second. I'm gonna put together a bunch of different spring outfits for you guys. But like I said, if you're looking to shop, make sure to use my code for 10% off. I'll have it on the screen here and I'll also have all of the info as well as links to all of these pieces that I'm mentioning in the description box below. So let's get into the outfits. Here's an outfit styled with the helmet lang ruched top. I'm wearing it a bit off the shoulder and tucked in to these Ghani trousers. They're a bit low rise, kind of wider leg. I think they're a really fun contrast to a more feminine slimming top. Then I'm wearing the oxidized hoops from my brand Stotzbellet with some Stotzbellet rings as well and my Jill Sander Birkenstock shoes. I would wear it with this Margiela 5AC tote. It's like a casual look, but I have everything I need for a day in the city. So here's my first look with the gold jeans. They're seriously the perfect fitting jeans. I'm obsessed. I need to get them in some other washes because generally, like I was saying, I'm not a jeans girl, but these make me feel really good. They're just the perfect, kind of loose, straight leg jean, and they're so, so flattering. So I'm wearing them with this Issa Boulder top. I'm not sure if this one is still available. If I can find it, I will link it below. It has this beautiful open back, and I think the color is so beautiful, and it's quite comfy as well. I'm styling this with my Margiela 5AC tote and my classic black tabby boots. I think these jeans are so good for being dressed up or dressed down. Okay, so here's a very chic running errands look that I feel like could really easily be transitioned to going out or just going out to dinner. I think the new Balenciaga wireframes look so good with this outfit. I'm wearing this jumpsuit that I got secondhand. It's originally by Isabel Marant. And the Caperni boots make this so much more feminine, I think, and the wider opening is perfect for a bigger bottom like this. And I'm wearing it with my everyday jewelry that I designed. And then I pick between two different bags for errands. I think this bag would be really great because it can fit so much. It's from a small brand called YTN7 that makes all their bags to order. Or alternatively, for more of a going out look, I would wear my Balenciaga wallet on a chain hourglass bag. You can actually fit so much in this and keep things really organized. It's super practical. And yeah, this outfit's actually really simple and effortless with the jumpsuit, but it still looks really put together. Here's my first look with the Dion Lee skirt. I am wearing this v-neck cashmere sweater. So this is the full skirt. It's definitely a statement. So I like to wear it with my sweater kind of half tucked so you can just see one side of cutouts i also have on this tiffany elsa peretti heart choker this cropped blazer on top assuming i'm wearing this going out just nice to have in case it gets a bit cold but not really something you have to put in coat check my balenciaga wallet on a chain bag and then i have on the new caperni bridge boots they really are so comfortable for a heel and perfect for a night out 
Here's how I'd style the skirt a bit more casually. I have on the same cashmere sweater, but I've thrown on this Rick Owens canvas over dye jacket that I found secondhand. I'm wearing the Balenciaga frames, same jewelry as in the last look. Honestly, most of the jewelry I wear are everyday pieces, so I don't know if I even need to keep mentioning it. And then I have on that YTN number seven bag, my Aunt Millimeester knee-high combat boots. These make any look a bit tougher. Here's my first look with the Autolinger ribbed pants. I'm wearing this one shoulder cotton Rick Owens top with a velvet blazer by AF Fan Force that I got secondhand. The Balenciaga wallet on a chain and then I'm wearing these with my tabbies. I think these look so good with longer pants like this. They look so nice and really like an extension of the pants. I think alternatively with the pants, you could style them super casually. I'm wearing them with the same Rick Owens one shoulder top, but instead of my tabbies, I'm wearing them with my go-to green Prada loafers and the Margiela 5 AC tote. And of course, the Balenciaga frames and my everyday jewelry. Yeah, I think this is really perfect for just running errands, walking Laszlo, I shouldn't say it. We're gonna go on a walk soon, okay? Just getting like lunch or coffee. This outfit's so comfy. And then I believe I'm gonna wear this last look out to dinner tonight. I am wearing the Helmet Lang ruched top with the Balenciaga wallet on a chain again. The uh, gold jeans. I still can't get over the fit of these. They look so good with everything. And then the Caperni boots yet again. I could also tuck the jeans into these if I wanted, but they kind of fit perfectly over top. It's a really easy day to night if you're out for the whole day, but still really comfy, which is always important. Okay, so now for cleaning out my closet. I went through my closet a few weeks ago and I separated it out this bin of pieces that I just haven't found myself reaching for or wearing for a little while. Honestly, still like a lot of them, but my closet is quite small. It's not the cleanest right now, but I'm gonna go show it to you. Yeah, I have pretty much all my clothes and shoes in there. During the winter, it's definitely more full, but we actually have a storage unit that we store our winter stuff in and our camping stuff and things like that that are a bit more seasonal. I honestly can't even fully remember what is in this bin, which I think is a sign that everything needs to either go in a donation pile or go up for sale. I think this is a really good way to like detach from your wardrobe if you need to do a bit of a clear out because you might realize that you actually forget about the pieces that you're on the fence about. Like for example, I really love this Veronique Bronchino vest that I think I'm gonna be selling. It's beautiful, but the fit is just a little bit off, so I don't find myself wearing it much. I wish it was one size bigger. I also have this gray blazer from the Frankie shop that I just haven't found myself wearing, but it's still in really good condition. This is a Rick Owens purple cropped blazer. I really love it, but also I just haven't worn it more than one or two times. I got it second hand to kind of like branch out and wear some more color, but I just haven't been wearing it and I think it could go to a better home. I have this gray mohair v-neck sweater vest. Again, I just haven't been missing it and I wasn't wearing it for a while. I feel like my skin got really sensitive to wool and I just can't wear a lot of sweaters anymore unless they're like cashmere, it's so uncomfortable for me. I bought this helmet length skirt on final sale and the color just isn't quite right. I thought it was a much darker red and I couldn't return it. So I'm gonna be selling it as well. I also have this black linen skirt. It's beautiful, but I don't find myself wearing long skirts that much anymore. If I'm wearing something longer, it's probably a dress. So I'm gonna start shooting all of these now and then I need to go through my wardrobe and pull out any winter pieces that I'm probably not gonna be wearing for the next six months or so. It's been pretty warm in New York, so I think it's safe to put away my fur coats. So I actually just posted these clothes for sale on Instagram and most of them already sold. I've recently started doing sales on my story more so than on like a different platform just because it's really easy and fast and reaches a wider audience so make sure you're following me on there if you're interested but I'm gonna get to packing these up now. I have 
quite a bit of other work I need to do today so I don't think I'm gonna get to actually swapping out all of my winter stuff. I realized I also need to buy like a couple garment bags I think to store my coats in just to make sure they're safe in storage. So once I have that, I'll definitely be doing a storage run, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super fun to make. I hope you could put up with my voice from being sick the whole time. It's still kind of hard for me to talk. Yeah, I definitely want to do more styling videos in the future. They're always so fun for me. I'm also on TikTok now and doing more like short form styling and vlog kind of content. So feel free to follow me on there if you guys are into TikTok. Thanks so much again to Farfetch for working with me on this video. I'll have my code and all the links to anything I mentioned in the description box below. And I will see you guys super soon with a new video. Bye!